Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is the most requested video in my all the videos come in like make the free untitled bypass video using the Windows machine. So now today's video is all about that. So in today's video, I will show you how you can bypass the latest iOS 16.6 or iOS 15.7.8 on your Windows machine. So no need of Mac, no need of Hackintosh. All you need to do is you need to get the Windows operating system and then everything is good and if you still have the macbook and you want the mac os method so i've already made the video on the free untethered bypass using the mac so you can check out ios 16.6 or ios 15.7.8 both the videos are on my channel or you can get the links from the description so you can watch the video if you are a mac user and if you are a windows user you can continue watching this video so for exciting videos like this hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel so without any further delays let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right for the bypass first we need to jailbreak our device so for that you can use this custom iso file that is the combination of the check rain ponga os and the pelrain latest version so to download these files you can just head over to my blog you will get everything is there so first you will get this folder just open it next you will get this zip or r file just extract it using any zip extractor after that you will get into this folder now you will see some files first you will get the roofers you can use this roofers for making the usb bootable or you can google it you will get the latest roofers version according to your windows architecture like 32-bit 64-bit or arm 64 next you will get this iuso file and other roofers important file so just ignore all this file you will just require this iuso file that will make with the usb bootable and also with the roofers software so first run the roofers software next you will require the usb pen drive you can take minimum 1 gb or above pen drive to make the usb bootable and if you don't have the usb stick you can also take the micro sd card with the sd card reader after that import the iuso file you can click on the select or drag and drop the iuso file on the roofers it will directly take that file next you need to select the partition scheme mostly there are two partition scheme in the windows like mbr master boot record or gpt so you can select it accordingly i am selecting the mbr partition scheme so make sure you will select according to windows architecture this iso file support the 32-bit older version and the 64-bit latest architecture with the older legacy bios and the latest uefi mode and after everything is set you can click on the start and make sure you connect it with a wi-fi as sometime it will require to download some important files now just wait for it to get complete now it shows ready that means it's done now you can close the roofers tool and restart your system now after the reboot you need to go to your bio settings or you can say boot manager setting where you can select the booting option or the usb you need to boot it from the option key is might be different according to your laptop brand model so if you don't know about that you can just google it you will get the bios or boot manager key shortcut and after that you can configure it so now you can see this is the boot manager section now here you can see it's showing my usb USB name that is the Toshiba Trans Memory. You will get the two mode. One is the UFI mode, or another one is the old legacy BIOS mode. So you can boot it from the mode that is supported from your system. Like some systems support the UFI mode, and another one is the old legacy option. And also one important setting: before you boot the USB, make sure you turn off the secure mode option from your BIOS settings, and then you can boot the USB. Otherwise, in some system, the booting process will fail. So I will show you both the modes like the uefi mode for the new version and the older legacy bios so first i will just try the latest uefi version so i will just click on that So now here is the latest Pelrin version with come with the latest Pelrin loader. Also it has the Checkrain Pong OS version for the iOS 15 and 16 and you can run it on your Windows system. So now let me just show you another old legacy BIOS. So if you have an older version and you don't have the latest EFI mode, you can select the older legacy BIOS and after 5 to 10 seconds it will load automatically. 
So now you can see both the mode are working so you can use it according to your windows model. Now let's start the jailbreak. So I will just show you how you can jailbreak the latest iOS 16.6 on the hello screen mode. Also you can use it on your normal device. Both the jailbreak will work. So let me just connect it. First I have a iPhone X. It's running on the latest iOS 16.6.1 and you will also get the warning of the USB Mark D not found. So just ignore that. That will not create any difference. I will just fix it in the later update. So now you can see after you connect the device it will go into the recovery mode automatically and if your device will not go into recovery mode directly in that case you can put your device into the recovery mode manually and then DFU mode and it will detect by the system. So next put your device into the DFU mode you can click on enter follow the instruction on the screen and it will help you out. So now you can see it start jailbreaking your device. You will see the Apple logo and after that the checkprint verbose boot on your device. And if you see some error on the terminal just ignore that. Pre-try the process and everything is good. And also use the good quality cable. So now you can see it's booting kernel. That means we are good. After the jailbreak your device will automatically reboot to the home screen. That means the jailbreak is completed. And if you face any errors you can retry the process. And in iOS 16 it will stay there in the booting kernel option. It will not exit the terminal automatically so you need to control C to exit the terminal but on iOS 15 it will exit the kernel automatically so that is the difference between both these. After that on the terminal you need to type the reboot to restart your system or to shut down type shut down and hit on enter. After that unplug the USB stick from your system and boot to the windows operating system. Alright now we are on our windows system so first let me just confirm you that the jailbreak is done so let's open the three tools and you can see that on the jailbreak it's showing yes that means the jailbreak is done now we can easily proceed for the bypass Alright now for the bypass we'll use the program this tool. This tool is free available on my blog so you can check out from the description you will get on my blog link and there you will get the latest download link of this version. Currently the latest version is 2.3.4 but in future if the new version will come I will update in my blog so you can download the latest version and then you can use it. So first you need to extract the tool. After that you will get the exe file so just double click on it. Once you open the tool you will see this kind of interface. Now before we proceed for the bypass I will show you the backup folder directory in that some activation file will store so here is the backup folder currently it is empty as we haven't donated the activation record so first you need to click on the check device and you will see your device will show not connected so for that you need to click on the donate activation files after that click on the check device option and this time you will see your device is connected now first you need to register the device on the tool it will show register now then click on that and it will open the website after that copy the ecid from the tool and paste it on the website and then it will register in free now once you have registered you can reconnect your device and close the tool and reopen it after that click on the generate file options again and click on check device and this time you will see your device will registered and showing the green sign and you are ready to go for the bypass. Now next click on the start button and it will generate the activation record from here. If the one server is busy you can tick on the server 2 and click on start and it will generate the zip file. So like this the zip file will made in the backup folder. It contains the fair play and the IC config file. So after everything is done the activation record is generated you are ready to bypass the Tool. Now keep your device connected go to the options again and this time you need to allow the hello screen option click on that and then you will click on the back option again next check the device again and you will see the device is connected and the activation record is generated now we can proceed for the bypass now click on start and hello bypass after that you will see the tool will show the progress to bypass the iCloud activation lock screen. So keep connected do not disconnect the device and also connect with the strong Wi-Fi on your system and the device also. So now you can see the bypass is done. Tool will show the message and your device will go into the reboot stage. 
and on the tool also you will see the bypass is done and do not set the passcode otherwise you need to re-bypass again so take care of that after that you can close the bypass tool and just set up the device and this time you will see the activation lock screen is completely skipped and you will go on to the data and privacy page we have successfully bypassed our latest ios 16.6 on the windows machine using the custom jailbreak iso file and the boric tool so now simply set up the device and make sure that do not add the passcode or touch id or face id on the devices otherwise it will lock again after the reboot so now you can see we are on our home screen and everything looks good you will also get the Palerin loader latest version to install the Celia or Zebra as we have successfully jailbroken our device now let's talk about what this bypass offers you this bypass is free untethered method like if you want to reboot the device you can easily do that it will not lock again except you are adding the passcode face id or touch id otherwise it's a tethered method but if you don't add the passcode touch id or face id it will stay like this untethered way so do not not add those things also this bypass support some i services like you can icloud login also you can use siri also you can use the app store but some may not work like i've tested the facetime it's not working so you can try it maybe it's working or not working you can test it on your end. but for me it's not working and for the sim card that will also not work as it's a free method so sim will not work for that you need to use the pay tools that i have already made so many videos on that like you can use the hfz or checkmate or i remove tools but still you are getting so many things in a free way on your windows machine so that's kind of enough for us so you can try this method if in future any other method come for sim bypass and free i will definitely make the video but for now i think it's a fair way you can try this method and easily bypass on the latest ios 16 and the 15 also but do not set the passcode on your device otherwise it will lock again after the reboot so now let's let me just reboot the device and show you this is the untethered method so now let's start again Alright so now you can see that the device is on again, it's a completely free untethered bypass so you can also try it on your end. So that is all for this video, I hope you gained some knowledge and learned something new through my videos. If yes just hit the like button and if you're new here please subscribe to my channel for more cool updates like this. I will see you in another one so till then goodbye take care and peace out.